Hi guys, it's BB Rexa here, and you're watching my exclusive iHeartRadio Ask Me Anything chat. And I want to say thanks to Romeo and Most Requested Live for having me tonight to talk about my new song, I'm a Mess. So I'm going to just start. Um, by the way, I'm in bed. And I got my Minnie Mouse pajamas. All right. Um, Josie from Burbank, can you create, recreate the pose you have on your passport? I think it's just literally like that. I don't know. Um, Tama from Cornwall, how was your VMA experience? Love ya. Um, it was really awesome. It was tons of fun. And I saw a lot of my friends and I thought the performances were incredible. I loved Camila's performance. Oh, I love Sean's performance. That was amazing. They were all so incredible. So um, that was uh, a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, I had my family there too, so that was cool. Kyle C. from California, will you ever grow back, go back to your brown hair? Um, yeah, I'm trying to actually like grow a little bit of out, it out right now just to kind of make it healthier because um, it's so unhealthy right now, but um, maybe one day. Not just yet, though. Um, Tyler from Philadelphia. Hey, BB. I want to know what the story behind Shining Star is. It's a pretty dark song, and I know you write, I know you write personally. Have you been the girl in the story? Yeah. Um, uh, for sure. Um, I feel like sometimes I can be quite um, self-destructive, and I didn't actually go through an experience where I found a guy who told me that, but like mm, my dream would be, I guess I was like fantasizing, I'd love to find a guy who'd tell me that he would love me no matter what. So I think that story was kind of based off of me personally um, and not being perfect and kind of being, you know, chaotic, chaotic and like imperfect and wanting to find somebody that will just like love me the way that I am. So that's the answer. Um, Maggie from Duluth. If you're on Family Feud with Steve Harvey, who are your four teammates and who are you going up against? That's really good. <laughs> um, I would probably, I don't know if they have to be famous people or not, but I would probably take um, my managers Tessa and Adam because they're both really smart. I would take my brother Flo because he's funny. So that's three. Do you do four or five? Five, right? Five. So um, Tessa, Adam, Flo, me, and Bear. She'd be the first dog on the show. Who would I go up against? Um, I don't know. Probably somebody super funny. Um, Diplo, I don't know, just because I saw his Instagram before I came on here, so I was post. So, I don't, yeah. Um, Hannah from New York, what is the dumbest way you've been injured? I don't know. I mean, I, I constantly, uh, I also bump into a lot of things. Um, I guess recently I was cutting a lemon, I think. I don't remember what it was, but I was cutting a lemon and I was being really dumb with it. Like, so I, I accidentally cut my finger and I thought that was really stupid. And I knew that I was not doing it right. I was just being like really, I was like trying to be quick and that was dumb, but whatever. Um, Ivana from Beirut. Do you know that we got your back no matter what? What's that not a, was that, well, that's not a question, but just so you can know that we're not only your fans, we're also your family, and you'd be proud of us. We'll get it. You're a living legend. <laughs> That's really cute. I really love that. Thank you. That was really sweet. I really love that. Thank you, guys. That makes me feel so good. Because sometimes I, like, read stuff on the internet, and it's, like, so mean. And I'm like, this just makes me want to never go back on the internet again. Um, so thank you, Ivana. Aldo from Dallas, what is your most beloved memory of your childhood? 
big fan love big fan love you you're the best love you too uh, my favorite my favorite memory from when I was a child probably like going to my grandma's house and all the kids would come over like all my cousins and I have a lot of cousins like over 30 um, not all of us would be there but like let's say six or seven of us and we would build like forts like out of blankets and my grandfather would feed us really bad like little Debbie snacks which are like snacks you buy from like you know like chocolate like cookies with like marshmallow in the middle and stuff so um yeah that would definitely be my one of my favorite memories uh laura from los angeles did you play any sport when you were little um i would rollerblade a lot i really wanted to be like a figure skater but that never worked out because it was too expensive it was like overpriced the, the um the classes and then in the backyard we had a um a basketball hoop so i like to play basketball with my cousins but i would always lose meredith from minneapolis how often do you get your nails done I hate getting my nails done. These right here are actually um, press-ons. So basically, like, the lady will come and, like, like I'll, I like to get my nails, like, pre... These are, like, pre-done. The lady does them and then sticks them on my hands because I do not like to get my nails done. It's just not fun for me because, like, I don't want to sit there. I'm like, oh. So um, I try not to get them um, done often. Yeah. Next, what hair care products do you use? How funny, I have some of them on my bed. This is hilarious. I put it on right before I go to bed. Um, this is kind of expensive, but it's really worth it. And if you don't have like really bad hair, like you could put just a little bit in your hair. But I love this. Oh, can you read? It's backwards. It's I-L-E-S formula. And it's like a ser serum. And I mix that with this. And this is called Mistress Hydrating Balm, Hair Balm by IGK. This is so good. It's like quite pricey. This is like 30 bucks. But you can get it at Urban Outfitters and it's really, 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 really good. And then I have this brush too, which is really good for washing your hair after, like in the shower. So it's called Sheila Schrotz. I don't know, but these are really awesome. I swear I didn't plant, I didn't know this was the question. I literally just had it right here. Um, what warning, Sierra from Ocean City, what warning label would you come with? Oh, wow. It would be caution, very reactive, or emotionally unstable. <laughs> um, I'll do some more. Lauren from, Bel how do you say that, Beloit? Beloit. Spill the tea, girl. Do you have a driver's license? I don't, but I'm actually getting my, I mean, if I go, because I probably won't show up. Um, September 28th, I think, I'm going for my permit. So, hopefully I get it. Um, Kimmy from, Kimmy from Miami. How was it? How is it like to have Florida Georgia Line featured on Meant to Be? It was awesome. They're really nice. Um, I, I love me. I love like hanging out with their wives and love meeting the baby and being part of that whole process. So that was really cool. Um, Katie from Burlington, what is the weirdest rumor you heard about yourself? I like my that I got my boobs done and my butt done. Like that is like. Not true. Um, oh. What time do I have to stop? It's 12, 12 minutes. Is that it? Yeah. One more. One, one last one. Kate, Carly from Coconut Grove. Is there anyone that you want to collaborate with that's, Latin, that's a Latin singer? Um, well, I have a song coming out with um, David Guetta and J Balvin um, called Say My Name. And I've always wanted to work with Jay Bob, and I think he's like super talented. Um, so I guess that is the answer to your question. Um, I think that's all for tonight. I'm gonna like wipe my lipstick off and go to bed um, with my Mickey Mouse stuff on. But um, thank you guys again for watching, and um, I want to say thanks to Romeo again and Most Requested Live for having me. 
and my new song is called I'm a Mess and make sure you support it, you buy it, you stream the video and you request it to all your radio stations, um, all the radio station in your nearby town so we can get it all the way to the top. I know we can do it. Love you guys.